Honestly. Yeah. I know some people take some time off around the holidays. They mm -hmm. hold off on the dancing and that's mm -hmm. okay. That is okay. You know? We forgive them. We do. And January, <laughs> you know, the beginning of January was cold and a little dry, but really sunny, which was nice. Yes. And the cold temperatures keeps the snow. It's like a little freezer for the snow, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're you in know? a store, your snow in a freezer, it keeps it nice and fresh. Exactly. Same place we put the moguls in the summer. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's been great. The snow's good, especially on the groom stuff still. It's amazing what coverage is out there it's uh, been a yeah. pretty good year but I'm looking forward to a little bit more powder I am as well and it looks to be pretty favorable for us right now so yeah. we'll just keep our fingers crossed and I have no doubt that mother nature will deliver absolutely um, but up at Arapahoe Basin there's always a million and one things to do which is why I love a basin so much yeah. and um, I mean I've been skiing there since I was competing in moguls it's like <laughs> I have the best memories there I used to compete with um, Alan's kids, the Hensroth children. Yes. Yep, we had a lot of fun. And they're still awesome skiers. Too, yes, they all are. Yeah, yes, great. they are. So, but, you know, in being a good skier, a lot of that and being a good skier and snowboarder, safety is, you know, kind of a main focus. Well, absolutely. If you um, don't stay safe during your season, you can't be skiing into June. Right. So our uh, focus and the focus of the ski areas around the nation this month mm -hmm. is safety mm -hmm. and mostly the responsibility code. Mm -hmm. um, it applies to everyone who uses the mountain, whether you're skiing or snowboarding. Um, you could be three or 83 on a ski bike or yep. um, any sort of way you get down the mountain. There's just a few good um, Rules guidelines. Of the slope. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's an etiquette, right? And absolutely. Yep. There's a way to stay safe and we're promoting that this weekend. Well, that is wonderful to know. So is it um, like, what are what are you doing for, for promoting safety this weekend? What kind of events are you doing? Yeah, so this is a fun weekend. It's our safety village. Okay. It'll be Saturday and Sunday, 10 to one in the base area. Mm -hmm. So we try to make learning about staying safe a little bit fun. That's um, a good thing. Exactly, because mm -hmm. well, also it's the basin. We're Everything gonna in the enjoy basin is fun. And there's a food component because it's a basin. Oh, <laughs> yes. So so tell me all about yes. it, Adrian. So um, we're going to have Think First Centura Health up there mm -hmm. talking about helmets, doing some helmet giveaways for a suggested donation, keeping everyone's uh, noggins safe on the hill. Very important. Um, I myself have benefited from that during um, a ski crash, so it's really nice to have them out there talking about helmet safety. Then you move down the row and you get to our tent and okay. we'll be talking about the responsibility code, the seven points of it. Know the code. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll also have a chairlift, mm -hmm. um, mostly for little kids to practice just getting on and off, just so they oh, see about great. how high off the snow it is. Sure, that helps. And uh, if you know the code, we will have safety cake for you. Safety Safe cake? Safe to say it's delicious. Safe to say <laughs> I think so. <laughs> So yes, we'll have safety cake up there. We're giving out pieces of cake to kids and adults who know the code. Um, we'll have little badges, junior patroller badges for some of our younger guests. Yeah, that's so Super cute. Super fun. Um, Summit County Search and Rescue will have their backcountry rescue truck up there. Oh, cool. uh, they can talk about they, the work they do in Summit County, keeping mm -hmm. all of us safe summer and winter on our hiking trails and our ski trails. Nice. And of course, the Abbey Dogs will be down there. Oh, yes. yes. So who will be in attendance for the Abbey Dogs? Uh, absolutely, Miss Rio on both Saturday and Sunday. I love Rio. And uh, I think Max will be down there. Oh, cool. Okay. But if you're up on Sunday, I heard a rumor, and this is if everything works out well, because she's still kind of young. Okay. But the newest puppy, Miss oh, Sasha, Sasha, our baby girl, oh. will be there on Sunday. So if you I, want to say hi. I saw Sasha the other day. She was up at the top with the patroller being a good little pup. She's so good already. We just posted a photo of her and Rio on Instagram. She just has bonded to Rio so much that already. That is so cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Look at those ears. Oh, my goodness. Well, the Abbey Dogs are such a cool component to safety and yeah. another way to make safety fun. Absolutely. And then also to this Friday, uh, tomorrow, we have uh, the Supper Club at the Six Alley Bar. If you get faint just thinking about all the safety you have to remember this weekend, come carbo load before it. There we go. Us. Okay. So, yeah, uh, the Six Alley Supper Club is a new thing we're trying out this year. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen on Fridays through April. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, Friday night, starting at 630 is our Italian night. So Delicious. it's awesome. Uh, Chef Ryback and his team have prepared three different entrees, bottomless pasta bowls, garlic bread, salad, and of course, cannolis and tiramisu. Wonderful. And that's tomorrow evening starting at 630. It is. And okay. you know what? If you're not sure if you can make it up, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to come, we do have reservations online. Mm -hmm. But if you're not sure you can make it up, just show up tomorrow. We'll have a few different seatings. You can hang out at the bar while we prep your table. 
And um, Perfect. yeah, it's gonna be just a really fun, pretty laid back night, good for all ages. And I like how affordable it is too. It's $20 for adults and $10 for kids and kids, what, five and under? Yeah, I think it's six and under. Six and under are free. Yeah. So really family friendly for everybody and totally affordable for a Friday night out. And that's kind of what we're going for. You know, we just, we have these incredible gourmet, moonlight dinners at Mid Mountain that sell out so quickly and we want to have something that's just a little bit more laid back a little bit more open and you can come start off your weekend with us perfect well Adrian where can folks go for more information everything you want is at arapahoebasin.com perfect thanks so much for joining me always fun to talk with you of course gotta love the basin and all their fun activities from food to being outside and skiing and snowboarding perfect we have more summer sunrise to come folks don't go anywhere we'll be right back